pleasant good afternoon everybody welcome to Dodger Stadium as the Mets played the rubber game of their three game series against the Dodgers and we know for sure it holds a really cool pitching matchup center guard for the Dodgers against his old team and Max Scherzer while he only pitched for the Dodgers for a short time it was quite a run center guard six years as a New York Mets so many great memories of his time there it makes his first appearance against the Mets since leaving fourth end of the series for Nimmo and now here's Marte who's one for nine in the first two games bounce back to center guard goes to second for one with a low throw Vargas catches it and throws Marte out it's a double play and so the base is empty for Lindor and he bangs one in the air to center field Outman is there to finish off the first Syndergaard faces the minimum here comes Max Scherzer Max Scherzer on three extra days rest hoping that his back will hold up today you know his last start he only went five innings gave up one hit against the San Diego Padres Scherzer facing the Dodgers for the first time since he left them that's through the right side and a leadoff base hit for James Outman you know so far through three starts he has not been the same Max Scherzer the Dodgers have a mini rally here first and second with one out Max Muncy coming up this one's thrown right by to load the bases well, the Mets badly need for Scherzer to be right bases loaded one out here's Jason Hayward one for four in this series and he struck him out got him with a cutter on two and two that's a big strikeout for Scherzer for the second out so now the base is loaded and two out and Scherzer with an exit path he's going to get through the rookie second baseman Miguel Vargas Vargas hits it sharply but Beatty is right there to grab it gets the force and Scherzer squirms his way out of first inning trouble no score after one carves out a pop fly down the line that sends Freeman in the move into foul ground to make a catch Freddie Freeman Willie Mays like going away basket catch one away he had a lot of speed early and just enough finesse at the end beautifully done by Nemo for his second head of the day a bunt to put two runners on nice nicely done so two aboard for Marte who had a comebacker into a double play his first time up sometimes you sacrifice commander Velo there it is guys oh baby you That's asked sick. for it, it you is. got it that's huge. You know, awesome. You know what a double play means? Can you spend another half inning with it? Oh, sure, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Max Scherzer just popped out with a new glove because Phil Cuzzy told him that he had to take the glove he was using out of play. Well, he, he checked his right hand. He checked his left hand. And then he went inside the glove, Cuzzy, which is very strange for an umpire to put his hand inside yes. your glove. I would not like that. And he's got to go down the club outside to watch his hands or get a new glove. Remember, Domingo Herman recently at Yankee Stadium was asked to wash the rosin off his hand. Right. I don't know if it was pine tar or some other substance for Max. Scherzer had a laborious first inning, but got out of bases loaded trouble. One, two, three, second, and now armed with a new glove. Goes after the Dodgers in the third. Did you notice uh, we had a shot there of Max? imploring Alvarez no more pitch calm on this glove imploring Alvarez to put the signs low enough so he could see it and the breaking ball gets Freeman looking backdoor cutter from Scherzer for his third strikeout yeah. J.D. Martinez walked his first time up and he hits one on the ground to Beatty takes his time throws him out one two three inning for Scherzer he's now retired eight in a row after a rough start no score in the third while we were in commercial the umpires did another check of Max Scherzer and after a heated discussion Scherzer has been ejected from the game presumably for having a spit sticky substance on his hand the crew chief Dan Bellino did the ejecting and now Buck Showalter in conversation with Bellino as Scherzer has been ejected from the game so he had his glove switched earlier and they're looking at the second glove and they were looking at his pitching hand as well and this has become a real crazy time here in Los Angeles we don't actually know that he got ejected for the foreign substance theoretically could have been ejected for arguing but we assume it was for a foreign substance on his hand on his glove the 
other aspect of this is that would automatically carry a 10 game suspension. I checked in with Major League Baseball just to confirm. So it's about more than just this game, assuming that's what Scherzer did get ejected for. So this was right before the last half inning that Scherzer pitched before the top of the third. And putting some some tape on his glove hand. It, is that to, to secure the pitch comp inside of his glove? Maybe that's what that's for. And listen, we'll hear from Max Scherzer after the game. I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say. But he was adamant to the umpires shouting constantly, it's just rosin. It is just the rosin. It's just the rosin that MLB provided. So uh, a lot of murmurs in this dugout that it was simply rosin that Scherzer is not using anything. But again, we'll hear from him after the game today. And now Jacobonis will make his second appearance for the Mets. Scoreless game, fourth inning. Full count offer into Jason Hayward is sliced to left center field towards the gap. That's down. And it bounces to the track and scoots by Jeff McNeil. Hayward pulls into second with a one out double. And the Dodgers have their first hit since Altman started the game with a single. Good piece of hitting down the middle, outer half. Vargas who grounded out his first time. Another one two pitch. Poked to right. That's a base hit. Hayward will stop at third. Vargas with his first knock of this series. And the Dodgers have him cornered with one away. David Peralta to the plate. He might have been the only guy over in the Dodger dugout saying, ah, oh, you don't have to eject him. Floated to right. Marte moves over to make the grab. Here comes Hayward. Here comes Marte's throw. It is not in time. And the Dodgers strike first. So two out. Alvarez at first. Here's Nimmo who's two for two. A single to center and then a bunt. But Nimmo drives one deep to right center and that's going to put the Mets in front. Nimmo halfway up in the pavilion. A two run shot his first home run of the year. And it's a two run homer to put the Mets in front two to one. What a road trip Brandon Nimmo was having. His second three hit game in this series. His first home run of the year coming in his 61st at bat. Runner in scoring position for Alonzo. And Alonzo drives one to center field. That's down for a base hit. Lindor will be stopped at third as Outman hits the cutoff man. So Alonzo with his first hit of the day and his fourth of the series. And the Mets have first and third and nobody out. And Pham lifts one along the right field line. Not very deep. Hayward moving over. Lindor tagging. Here comes Lindor. Here comes Hayward's throw to the plate. It's offline and Lindor scores. Alonzo moves up to second. It's a sacrifice fly for Tommy Pham. And the Mets have a little breathing room. It's now three to one. So the tying run is Martinez. One day after his two home run performance. Robertson comes home and Martinez pulls one down the line. A fair ball. J.D. Martinez delivers first hit first run since the fourth a 3 2 game tying run in scoring position Nimmo has one career five hit game got a chance for a five hit game now line the other way and Nimmo's got a five hit game five for five for Brandon Nimmo his second career five hit game hard to come by that's some hit. Can out for the second time. Came up with the bases loaded and two out of the seventh and hit a sharp ground ball to third into a force play. Canna drives one out to left center field back in the gap and Peralta can't get there. It bounces up against the wall. Guillaume is in. Here comes Nimmo. The relay throw by Williams. Not in time. It's a two run double for Mark Canna. And the Mets get the insurance they need. It's five to two New York in the night. Adam Adovino looking for his second save in this series. The one two three ninth on Monday. Three two to Peralta. His drill. Deep right field. Back it goes. It is gone. David Peralta leads off the ninth with a home run. His first is a Dodger and it's five three. And man, it's kind of hot coals on your head after giving up those two runs in the top of this inning. It sure is. This is quite a blast. Only really spectacular job by the Mets bullpen today. Jimmy Yacobonis will be in line for the win, and all the talk after the game will be about Max Scherzer's ejection. But this will be a big win for the Mets. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. And the Mets defeat the Dodgers in the rubber game, five to three.